Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what is multilayer perceptron network and multilayer perceptron learning algorithm in artificial neural network. Multilayer perceptron is a type of feed forward neural network with multiple neurons arranged in different layers. There will be at least three layers in multilayer perceptron network. One is the input layer, another one is the output layer, and there will be one or more hidden layers in between. Each neuron in a particular layer is fully connected with each of the neurons in the next layer. For example, if you look at this X1, X1 is connected with each of the neuron in the next layer. Similarly, if you consider this neuron, it is connected with each and every neuron in the next layer and so on. So that is what is called as fully connected in this case. The input layer is the visible layer, that is the input is given at this particular layer. It doesn't do any uh, task over here. Whatever the input is received, that will be transformed to the next layer, that's it. It will not do any modification to the uh, inputs. It will just uh, transform that particular input to the next layer. And then uh, uh, the hidden layers uh, will not receive input directly or they will not uh, give the output to the uh, environment here they will receive the input from the previous layer and then they will do some modification that output will be given to the next layer and so on. Now, uh, the output layer will do the computation uh, after receiving the input uh, from the last hidden layer and then uh, it will output that to the uh, environment in this case. So, the input is uh, given to the network through the input layer and the output is received from the output layer and neuron in this case. For each and every neuron in the hidden layer, uh, we need to use uh, uh, the activation function. Uh, there will be multiple uh, kind of uh, activation functions exist, uh, linear, non-linear and so on. Based on the problem definition, we need to use uh, different uh, activation functions. I have already discussed uh, the different activation functions uh, in artificial neural network. The link for that video is given in the description below. Usually, uh, whenever we have binary classification problem, uh, we use a sigmoid activation function. If it is a multi-class classification problem, we use a softmax activation function. Now, we will discuss uh, uh, multilayer perceptron learning algorithm. The input to the multilayer perceptron learning algorithm is uh, input vector, that is the set of features. And output is the target in this case. We need to define the learning rate alpha here. And uh, for each of those, uh, uh, we can say that the edges we need to assign the weights as well as the biases over here. Usually, we will assign uh, the uh, weights and biases randomly in the range of uh, minus 0 0.5 to plus 0 0.5 here. In the first step of uh, forward propagation, uh, we need to calculate the input and the output at the input layer. So, input calculation is uh, whatever the input is given to the network that is the input, and output of that uh, input layer neuron is nothing but uh, the direct transfer function here. That is nothing but whatever the input is there, the same thing will be transferred to the next layer. In this case, that's the reason the output of this input layer is exactly equivalent to the input to that particular input layer neuron in this case. Once you calculate the net input, the next step is to calculate the output at uh, that neuron. Uh, again, it is uh, based on the activation function we are using. In this case, uh, the activation function, what I have shown here is uh, nothing but the sigma activation function here. OJ, that is output is always equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus the net input here. Net input is what? IJ. So, if you put that particular thing, you will get the output at the output layer neuron in this case. So, we were able to calculate the output at the output layer neuron over here. Now, once you calculate the output at the output layer neuron, the next step is to calculate the error. So, error is always equal to O desired, that is nothing but the target output minus O estimated, that is nothing but the calculated output. So, once you uh, do this calculation, you are going to get the error term in this case. So, once you calculate the error at the output layer neuron, uh, what is the thing we need to do is uh, we need to apply the back propagation algorithm and then we need to propagate this error backside till the first hidden layer uh, in this case. Uh, to do that thing, uh, we use uh, uh, the two things over here. The first one is uh, uh, calculating the error at the output layer neuron, calculating the error at the hidden layer neuron here. These are the two different things we need to perform because whatever the error we have calculated, that entire thing is for the output layer neuron. But when you look at this uh, hidden layer neurons, whatever the error we have calculated here, that will be propagated back 
propagated by the proportion out of this particular weight here for example weight is equal to 0.5 so 50 percent will be uh, propagated back side if it is equal to 100 percent will be propagated at the back side over here so that is uh, the reason we need to calculate uh, these errors uh, separately here for uh, error at the output layer neuron this is the equation we use error k k is the output layer neuron here ok multiplied by 1 minus ok ok is nothing but output we have already calculated it 1 minus ok multiplied by o desired that is nothing but the target output minus ok again we have calculated it so once you calculate the error at the output layer neuron uh, what we do is uh, we will calculate the error at the hidden layer neuron uh, by propagating this error that is uh, the one which is calculated at the output layer neuron so error at the hidden layer neuron uh, error j is equal to oj multiplied by 1 minus oj we have already calculated the output at each hidden layer neuron so we use that output here multiplied by summation of error k w j k for all k k is nothing but what uh, all output uh, layer neurons here so that is what i said whatever the error we have calculated at the output layer neuron that will be propagated back with the proportion of the weight here if the weight is equal to 1 entire thing will be uh, propagated back if weight is equal to 0 0.5 50 percent will be propagated back if it is 0 0.25 25 percent will be propagated back and so on so that's the reason we have taken this error term multiplied by the weight for all output layer neurons uh, we will get error at the hidden layer neuron in this case once we calculate the error at the output layer neuron as well as the hidden layer neurons the next step is to update all the weights as well as the biases here to update the weights we use this equation delta w i j is equal to alpha that is the learning rate multiplied by the error at that uh, unit that's the jth unit multiplied by the input here you will get a change in weight add that change in weight to the previous weight you will get the new weight here so this is the simplest process we follow to update the weights here similarly if you want to update the biases uh, in biases we don't have this input here input will be always equal to one in that case that is uh, delta theta j is equal to alpha multiplied by error j here we don't have any input term in this case finally uh, theta j is equal to theta j plus delta theta j here that is whatever the change in bias we have calculated we need to add it to the previous uh, bias so that we will calculate the new bias in this case so this is how the multilayer perceptron network works uh, in this video i have discussed what is the multilayer perceptron network and uh, how the multilayer perceptron learning algorithm looks like i have already solved many examples on this uh, learning algorithm link for those videos is given in the description below i hope the concept of uh, multilayer perceptron learning algorithm is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching